13.5. This will only take a minute or two. Now, misleading graphs. Okay, first one, number one. They haven't labeled this graph. Is this starting at zero? Is this starting at 10? Is this starting at 100? Nobody knows, not detailed. This one, is this starting at zero? Is this starting at what? The axis doesn't start at zero, then it's not reliable. Yeah, because if you look at this here, this looks like munchies of double doggos, but if this actually really started at zero, Does it look like it's doubled anymore? No. So that is misleading data. You get misled every day of the week. This one. Everybody go, oh, that doggo is, there are doggos and munchies. Well, munchies is at least three times. He's massive. Look at the size of that dog. It's only height that matters. It doesn't matter that he's wider. That's misleading. Okay. This graph here shows correct information. Okay. Perfect. The scale is regular, begins to zero. Knows the difference in sales figures is not as large as it seems in the three previous misleading graphs. So this is the graph of the dogs and munchies that it should have been, like the one I did before. Now, look at this one. Wait, that's the problem. Um, same with this box, box, mislead. Okay, so you've got to look out for all these. A lot of this is common sense. Hard luck, Charlie. Um yeah, but that's all it is. So your work for Friday is 13.5, question one, two, five. Easy.